Open up Blender and use the Images as Planes add-on to import an image of all the different chess pieces so that we can use them as a reference. Then, line up the pawn with the centre of our axis and add in a cylinder. Line this up with the bottom of our pawn and begin extruding it upwards, following the curvature of the pawn. Don't worry about sharp edges at the moment, we can come back and bevel these later. Once you've brought in a sphere and placed it on top of the pawn, we can begin selecting edges and beveling them, making everything a little bit smoother. Now we can begin with the rook. This piece has a few more intricate sections, but it's the same basic principle as the pawn. Extrude, scale, extrude, scale, insert, scale, extrude, scale, 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 extrude, scale, 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 extrude, scale, scale, scale. To create the turret section of the rook, I brought in a cylinder and flattened it down. I then placed it at the top of the rook and used a boolean modifier to cut it out. For the cutouts in the rim, I created a cross from long cuboids and booleaned these as well. I decided to break the knight up into three sections, the base, the main and the head. I created the base with the same extruding method as before. I then created the main using a bezier curve and an array modifier, assigning the modifier to fit to curve so that the object followed it. I wish it was that simple, it literally took me 45 minutes. Once I'd completed the main, I began working on the head and it turns out that isn't much easier to do. My new method involved using the mirror modifier so that I'd only have to model one side of the knight's face. I extruded faces at the edge of the knight so that I could follow its outline. I then began extruding single vertices and other faces so I could connect everything together and fill it in. My next step was then to spend an entire evening fixing all of the wonderful topology and shading issues past me had left me to deal with, probably thinking at the time, eh, it'll be fine, I'll fix it in post. The bishop followed the same method as the previous pieces, with the only deviation being the head. To create this top section, I followed the rough shape of the head, then brought in a sphere and shaped the to the size of the indent so that I could use the boolean modifier to cut it out. After taking a well-deserved break to admire my pieces, I then moved on to creating the queen. Much like the bishop, the only difficult section here was the head. A method I found to work was extruding up the outer rim of the top section, then selecting faces evenly spaced apart and bringing these down. I then began beveling edges to smoothen everything out a bit. Once I'd added the sphere on top, I then duplicated this whole piece and cut off the top so that I could use it for the king piece as well. To create the cross, I brought in a cube and flattened it along the x-axis. I then extruded outwards from each edge and scaled up. Having completed the pieces, I moved on to making the chessboard. To do this, I flattened a cube and selected the top face, subdividing until there was a grid of 8x8. I then used checker deselect to assign different materials to each of the squares. To create the rim of the chessboard, I brought in another cube and scaled it outwards until it was larger than the initial board. I then booleaned out this board from the rim. Next, I used the 3D cursor to set each piece's origin to its very base. This meant that I could accurately align each piece to its square on the board. I then ensured that the scale of the chessboard was exactly 16 by 16, so that if I wanted a piece to move from one square to another, it would have to move 2 meters. This process took a very long time, but eventually I had them all organised neatly onto the board, assigned into their correct collections. I then linked each side's materials together so that I could easily change these later if I wanted to. And after some adjustments to lighting and animating, this is the result.